So in this building process, we've worked with several people. One of my friends, Steven, has a background in a lot of building. He builds houses, etc. My friend Thomas is actually an engineer. I don't know which type, but I know he has spent a lot of his life directing building projects, and he did build our local DIY skate spot. Knowing that, I asked both of them to help, and I asked them to actually build different obstacles. So interestingly enough, the stage that we've been skating was built by Steven. But Thomas actually brought in his own idea on how to do other things like the A-frame. At first, I wanted it about a foot shorter and a lot lower, but he recommended that we actually spruce it up. And with me being as controlling as I am, it did take me a second, but then he asked the other people at the skate park what they thought about it, and they said they think that would be cool. After watching the video that you're about to watch, I see that he made the right decision, which is sometimes the result that you get from trusting someone who has more experience than yourself. Funnily enough, Thomas actually sent me a whole redesign of the entire park that I sent him beforehand, trying to optimize the space, which was, beautiful. One thing that I've noticed with the friends in the warehouse is that they're extremely proactive. They've definitely taken a lot of this build onto themselves and they're the ones who are like, hey, we should put a quarter pipe here and here and here. So this video is pretty much the first thing that Thomas completely orchestrated on his own. He built the dimensions and he kind of added his insight and uh, let's see how the riders like it. So today is the big day. We get to skate the A-frame. Um, so I'm sweeping it up because there was sawdust on it. No one has hit the rail. Zach's literally putting the first marks on it right now. This is all we're actually going to do the whole video. So. Kind of nervous. I have I'm not, pretty nervous for it. It's it's just like... I feel like I've been looking at it too much. Go. It's called an A-frame because it looks like an A. A lot of people put rails or hubs next to it and you literally can bump it over just like bank to bank, do some tricks, or you hit rail. And the reason that these are dope is because you don't have to pop as high. You know, you don't have to worry about like, I feel like it makes getting ready to skate a handrail a little bit better because you have that feeling of grinding down something, but you are also, you have the privilege to not have to pop as high. Today we're going to show you how to sweep the rail. And that right there is how you sweep an A-frame. Tune in next time. So next time we'll sweep the stairs. I'll wax your side and if you explode because of me, I'll say I'm sorry. Who would try that? You. Super safe.
I never really grew up skating up to bars or up to handrails or A-frames. Perfect, it's mellow, and it's like scary and hard enough to where we're gonna get better by skating it. You know, it's not yeah. just this like tiny thing we can just have fake tricks on, you know. I'm excited about it, yeah. honestly. Having to be able to skate it whenever we want to after this. Yeah. Especially once we get a little better roll up and maybe like we can put the Something three foot like, there. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Just a little bit weird about 50. I guess we should try it. Maybe you can try back feeble, like drop into back feeble. Uh -uh. And I'll, no? I'd rather cook it. Rather? Right now. I'd rather cook it, I think. First try, Zach. Gosh, dang it. Something about it is freaking me out. I think the reason it's little is because it's the part's not done yet. So we like are kind of having to skate it like like you would a street spot or something. I think if it was like a bank right there, or if there was like banks to the left of this, it would feel more like a skate park and you where you have that safety. Yeah. But right now you're looking at a bale that's like belly button high if you like flip over it or something, you know? It's all in your head. Skating is all confidence. Wise words. Baby for it Skateboarding is mental. Say that again. It actually, it was like super easy. You big baby. It's a breakthrough. And I think John would love to hear this. For a long time, Columbia hasn't had a proper go-to perfect conditions. Obviously it's covered up. You can come here when it's snowing, raining, sunny. To just get really good at things, you know? Yeah, we never, there's never been an A-frame in Columbia yeah. before. And so, of course, on the very first day, we're gonna have jitters and we're not gonna be perfect, but how cool is it that we can come here and finally get good at an obstacle like this? You yeah, know? I definitely feel like I got more comfortable with it faster than I was going to. Yeah. I thought I was gonna be like very fearful. No, it's after the 50 was out of the way, I was like, okay, everything else is kind of gonna be a breeze. Yeah, it's 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 a mental thing. Yeah, because you know? we're just you know, you see a kicker, you're gonna be like, oh, I want to do a trick that I've done before. You see a handrail, you're gonna go, oh, I want to do tricks. You step to something you really haven't skated or haven't skated in a while. It, it's like a different world. It's spooky. Obviously, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm not done skating tonight, but I'm just saying, like, it's been, it's been eye-opening to see how bad I am at A-frames, but also, <laughs> yeah. I don't not, know. I feel like you're not as bad as I thought I would be, which is cool. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna eventually be doing some, yeah, I'm excited. Some weird stuff on this. Yeah. One day, son. One day. I am the world's worst board slider, so this is impressive for me. Yeah, 
You like this? This is the way. <laughs> Give me one more thing. Can I request this? Yeah, fine. I want to see a hippie jump. Ooh, through the very middle? You can choose wherever. I just think it would be cool. It's there. Ah. Flip the metal up. Yo, you got a hippie jump front wall ride that metal. I mean, I count it. That was sick. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's the one. I could do it without hitting the wall. I'll try one more. Irving's my friend. He uh, he rides a skateboard well. We're wearing similar shirts. Both our pants are black. Um, we're tan. I'm tall. He's he's not tall. But I still love him. Super sick. <laughs> Think of this as a frame introduction, part one. Yeah, part two is gonna be yeah fairly more impressive. I yeah, I think once we get a couple more quarter pipes, a couple more banks and stuff, we'll be able to feel more comfortable with the the flow. You know, it's like a yeah. I'd say we we build a great a frame. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Yeah, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Tom oh, and Andrew Rice for uh, welding yeah, this rail welding together. It. Shout out. You guys it. killed it. This thing is awesome. Yep. Um, it's my favorite obstacle in the park now. Yeah. John, 100%. you are going to absolutely kill it. So come back. <laughs> Please. Yeah, and so make sure you leave a comment for it and subscribe to us. No, 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 no. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. And that's it.